Welcome back to another episode of Curios for the Curious. Today we're look, taking a look at a wood platform stand holding a large wooden spoon with a carved head on top. So if we go ahead and take a closer look here, we can see that the wood itself has been stained a very dark green, although there are kind of uh, dark wood highlights showing through as well, as you can see on the horns or ears, uh, depending on your interpretation of these shapes up here. Uh, if we look at their head, you can see it's fully carved. We have uh, eyes represented, as well as teeth. You can see there, we have a curved neck. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this right here and slowly rotate this around. You can see kind of the profile there. If we continue to turn it around, you can see the kind of marbling between the green stain and the dark wood pattern. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what type of wood this is, but I think it is teak, a very hard wood with a very pleasant aroma to it. But you can see how it's carved and a little bit of the green pattern showing through as well. Again, there's another look at the teeth pattern. Kind of get a look underneath the jaw area. There's not much going on there at the throat. Uh, we can sort of see a taper at the neck area, and then we actually see the start of the spoon handle. So let me just put this back against the rest for now. So we can see the spoon handle does a uh, start wider and tapers down a little bit to the top of the bowl area of the spoon. It is quite large. If I set this down, I'm not sure if it's going to stay by itself because of its mass. It does want to rotate on its own, as you can see, just like that. But if I try to arrange it this way, you can see that my hand easily uh, fits in there as well as my fist. So I would say this has probably oh, Maybe almost a liter capacity So definitely a couple of cups or a liter a quart And you can see how it's been kind of a scooped carving uh, a little bit of texture and uh, Some of the carving marks still in there So that's our green pattern going vertically that way. Turning it over, again, that marbling effect between the green stain and the natural wood itself. So that's the spoon. Let me just set this off to the side and we can take a quick look at the stand. So you can see here, we got the same marbling effect between green stain and the teak wood. There's a really good shot right there. I don't think it got really clear. Uh, tapers down very slightly to the base. If I rotate this around, you can see there's not much going on from, a, from this direction, but again, that very nice uh, marbling effect with the green stain and the teak wood continues down there. So if we start from looking at this direction, you can see that the platform itself has a flat top surface with uh, inset carvings on it, which unfortunately is a magnet for dust. So even after some pretty diligent brushing, uh, because of the rough texture in the deeper areas, uh, it's pretty hard to get that dust out of there, even with cloth and silicone brushing. But uh, you can see it's a rectangular base. The sides themselves have nothing really uh, carved on them. So, kind of plain. 
with that same marbling effect and that continues on all four sides of the base. And that marbling effect again. We'll take a closer look at the top. So you can see how it's uh, pretty much flat. Uh, there's a little bit of a wave I can feel right around here, but visually it's very flat. Um, right around here we can see a sawtooth inset carving on both sides, as well as kind of a, almost a trench groove. If you can see the profile of that, how it's straight down here, but then kind of rounds and climbs up back to the flat surface. And similarly here, a drop off from this direction, and then this side kind of climbs back out of the trench there. We have a ridge line that goes all the way around four sides. That is even with the platform top. And then likewise, the very edge car flat as well. Uh, uniform with the platform top. And then in between the two ridge lines is this really wavy pattern that goes all the way around connected on all four sides. So there is no break in this curve. It is constant all around. So let me see if I can set this spoon back up in here. Normally when this is on display I actually have a very thin piece of string that I would wrap around because this does have a lot of mass and it wants to slide right off the stand. So even with this retaining pin that was included with this piece set uh, it is not enough to keep this from just sliding out of place. And sometimes, uh, high tra if this is displayed in a high traffic area, vibrations will cause the spoon to shift or if house pets uh, brush up against it, that sort of thing. But uh, let me do a little pullback here again. And taking a look at this carved wooden platform stand with large wooden spoon and carved headpiece. This has been another episode of Curios for the Curious. Feel free to check out other episodes on the channel. We also do unboxing videos as well as show and tell videos on vintage mill serp tools and other expanded topics. We also do a selection of book review, media reviews. Feel free to check all those out. Feel free to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. See you next time.